Breaking overnight, a family says a man was hiding a little boy in the front seat of his truck to try to kidnap him. The man tried to get away, but his truck wouldn't start, allowing a family member to spot the boy and call 911. 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala live in Fox Canyon. And Mimi, this is a crazy story for this, this family. It really is terrifying for that little six year old and his entire family. We're on Ontario Avenue. It's really dark out here and this happened just before midnight last night. There is a street light up here, but it is off. Now the little boy was walking out here after leaving a family gathering when that man just came up to him and picked him up from behind and then started walking him over to his truck. He then put the little boy inside of the front seat, told him to lay down and be quiet. When the guy tried to take off, the truck wouldn't start. And by then, the little boy's family members were outside. And this man actually had the nerve to ask them to help him jump the car. And to give you an idea of how quickly everything happened next, the jumper cables are still here at the scene this morning. The little boy's parents came outside, started searching for him. And that's when a family member spotted him right in the front seat. They immediately took the boy out of the truck, held the man down, called 911. Police got here to Ontario Avenue and arrested that man. He is facing attempted kidnapping charges this morning. This could have been so much worse had his battery not been dead, had his car started, and he would have taken off with that little boy. We're live in Fox Canyon this morning. Mimi Alcala, 10 News. Oh my gosh, Mimi, let me get this straight. So that family almost helped that guy get away with a little boy? They had absolutely no idea that the little boy was inside of the truck because he laid him down in the passenger seat. So no idea at all. Oh, that crazy. is crazy. They were just trying to help this guy out. Thank mm -hmm. goodness that boy is all right. Thank you, Mimi.